It's Easter Saturday, the day that we remember the burial of our Lord Jesus Christ. And as I was reading the account this morning from Luke's gospel, one small detail really struck me. This is the words of Luke 23, verse 55 to 56. As his body was taken away, the women from Galilee followed and saw the tomb where his body was placed. Then they went home and prepared spices and ointments to anoint his body. But by the time they were finished, the Sabbath had begun, so they rested as required by the law. It struck me that instead of busying themselves with going immediately to the tomb, the women, because of the Sabbath regulation that one day in seven should be set aside for rest, went home and stopped and waited. And it spoke to me of how so often our lives can be defined by frantic and busy activity, but that actually God does some of his most wonderful works, works that we will marvel at when we simply lay aside our sense of ultimate responsibility and rest in him. God, through the gospel, invites us into a place of rest. Rest in knowing that the destiny of the world ultimately sits on his shoulders. And so that as we stop and as we are quiet and as we wait and as we rest, God is at work as he was in the tomb over that weekend to do marvellous things that we will wonder at, that will amaze us. We don't have to be caught up on the treadmill of busy activity. We can stop and rest in Jesus this Easter weekend. With all that's going on in our world at the moment, we can rest secure that God is working to reverse the powers of darkness and to bring about the dawning of his light as he did that Easter day. So I encourage you this Easter Saturday, enter into his rest. Find rest in Jesus, stop and let God do the work that only God can do.